guys, as I promised, this is part one in which we're going to take a look at the power menu. And I would strongly recommend you to check the written guide as this tutorial will be quite hard one to follow from the video only. So first of all, we're going to take a look at uh, Event Ghost Setup. If you've not used the Event Ghost Setup, think about it as a macro or tasker tool for your PC. Each task is constructed in the same way. It waits for some triggers, then it sends the auto reply in this format to the um, mobile phone and then it performs the action after a short wait. If the trigger is issued by the auto remote message, this message usually contains the command ends with PC. This is important because this is how we're going to process it in a task on the profile later on. So make sure your commands will end with PC. You will notice that I'm trying also to intercept the system actions. So uh, these messages will be triggered either by auto remote or by the system performing certain duty. So each action, whether it's a lock, whether it's a restart or turn off or sleep, has exactly the same construction. So it has some triggers, a wait action and a reply. The only task that is slightly different in an even ghost is the wake up procedure because it will trigger on different events and those events include waking up from sleep, waking up from boot and from a lock. So we want to make sure in these three circumstances you will wait a few seconds to connect to internet and will send the message that the computer is online. If you're not sure how to link out a remote to even ghost, I'll put a link on the video for you. Before you start anything, it's a very good idea to create a stock notification, kind of like a default notification that will consist all eight icons you want to pl place on the screen and then delete the stuff that isn't um, needed. So create these and assign actions. And if for now, we're going to modify this as a go. That will save you a lot of time. So this is the power menu that we're going to recreate in the tasker. And to do so, we need to create five different profiles. All five uh, profiles are needed in order to run this notification and adding more different types and power menus or options not going to increase the amount of actions we're going to need. First, I'll tell you what these uh, profiles do and then we'll take care of the explaining each uh, profile one by one. So button actions uh, are basically a setup to respond into certain actions clicked by the buttons. And we have two of them to respond from the buttons from the first row and the two the second row. Open submenu allows you to open additional icons and submenu actions profile actions these actions and send the AR message. And the last one is just a feedback. To start, create a new task and name it tier one buttons or whatever you want, but be consistent. We need to create a default state, which consists four buttons, the power, volume, uh, screen and bookmarks. Each button has assigned actions starting with open, so open power, open volume, etc. and the prefix button one. For now, don't worry about if statements or the wake action, we're going to come back to that and your notification should look like this. We're going to create the labels later on as well, so don't worry about that. As advised before, just keep this action somewhere handy so you could copy and paste it because this is your default state that you're going to return to each time uh, you want to collapse something or return to default notification. Also, I assigned ID default to this notification. The first profile that we're going to take care of is open submenu. It will open any submenu uh, from the first row, which means that our filter is a regex match and it responds to open as all uh, actions from auto notification buttons will start with open. Because we want to intercept only uh, commands issued by the first row in a com uh, parameter prefix, uh, we're going to use a special prefix, which is button one, and that will correspond to the button presses from the row one of our notification. Now that we've got this sorted, just create a new task. This task will contain a new notification that will replace our default notification. It will consist two rows. Because this is a power menu, sub menu, uh, we want this to respond uh, to the an com value of open power. So that's being issued by clicking on the power button and just add if condition auto notification command matches open power. If you already created a template before with all the icons, all you have to do is just modify it now. So paste it in and pay attention to a few things. Actions. 
all actions from the first row start with open, apart from the currently open, which is open close. And all actions from the second row ends with PC. And because this is a submenu, the action pref prefix is button2. Now that we have our submenu, time to make sure the button works. So what you have to do is create a new profile, and that's the auto notification event. And in the filter, we're going to respond to anything that ends with PC, much as reg regex. And also, we have to make sure that the prefix for this command is button2. In a previous profile, we created buttons that have this prefix, and also their uh, bottom row uh, commands will end with PC. So this is a profile that will respond to this. When the profile is created, go ahead and uh, attach a new task. This task will be responsible for getting this command sent to our PC, and it will do so via auto remote. So create a task called auto remote send, and we're going to use an com variable, local variable. Uh, this variable will contain obviously our a command, and we're gonna issue this command to event ghost. We're going to start this task with a stop action because we don't want uh, this action to be sent via uh, auto remote. So when we collapse the menu, we don't want that information to be sent. So when our uh, auto notification command is close, uh, then obviously uh, we just want to stop this. At this point, anything else that is within that auto notification command is being sent as auto remote message. Lastly, if the command has been issued and our command is anything other than the power commands, uh, so like lock PC, sleep PC, reboot PC, and turn off PC, we want to return to the default uh, notification, which, which contains four buttons and default actions. Using not matching regex if condition, we are sure that uh, these custom actions, lock, sleep, reboot, and uh, turn off, will have a different notification on its own. And this is what we're going to create in a moment. When the information is sent to our computer, we get a response back via auto remote. So let's create a profile for that. Select auto remote message event as your condition and configure it as follows. We want to accept all messages, but we want a prefix for this to be a very specific. So in this case, it's PC. This is what we set in the auto sorry, in the event ghost as well. So when the information from auto remote is received, we're going to create a new task, which is gonna action it and update our notification. Create a notification task, and because each power action has a unique icon, we have to create a unique action for each uh, notification type. But first, let's set a variable. You'll notice that each of these actions has a if statement attached to it, depending on auto remote command. So depending on which auto remote co uh, command is received, uh, this is the action we want to take. Once the variable has assigned current time, we're going to use it to display a uh, time our PC got awoken. And that's going to be assigned in this notification as a text. So just add this variable in a text. Other than that, this is our default notification with four buttons and the uh, action prefix button one. When our computer is turned off, we want to issue a single button notification that will basically lock us out from any other options because we can't do anything about it. Uh, the only thing to remember is add a single button and assign a fake action because without action, the button is not going to be visible. When PC sleeps, uh, what we want to do is create a single button notification as well with a text. The text being auto remote time, so this is the me this is the time that auto remote send the message that PC is going to sleep, and that's gonna give us a nice icon. This button also has an open wake up action attached to it. Bear that in mind because we're going to use it to wake up the PC. The next one is a reboot action, very similar, a single icon um, notification that will show up for a few moments until uh, it's updated to the default state. And the last one is a lock in a similar matter, just a single button um, notification that shows us that the PC is locked. And that's gonna be automatically updated once the PC is back online as well. 
As you can see, at this stage it gets easier to add things because we already have most of the framework set up. So let's get back to two uh, first actions. There are two very similar profiles that will trigger the same action and basically they depend on where the notification is being issued from. One, it's response to the open message being issued by the prefix. Uh, button one, so uh, this is when the message is being triggered from the first row. And the second one is exact copy of it, but the only difference is comparams prefix, and this is where uh, the prefix is button two. These two will link to the first task you've made, and we're going to modify this a little bit. So uh, link it to the same task, which in my case was tier one buttons. First of all, we need to make sure that the default notification that we've created uh, will only uh, respond to collapsing submenus. So we do that by assigning if conditions, and this is uh, auto notification command uh, regex match close. And this is a stock notification, uh, has default open uh, actions, and it's button one action prefix, and it has a text, which is the variable we said previously, PC on time. Uh, PC on time, yes, that's correct. And the other action is the wake on LAN uh, plugin, and it allows you to wake the device. Right now, I only set it up for the uh, local network. However, you can set it up for the outside network as well. Uh, I'll link you to videos uh, how to do it. And this is the end of the part one. The part two will follow soon as well. Consider subscribing to get notification about uh, when the next video is up so you never miss out. And uh, follow me on social media as well because I share the content and additional information uh, through uh, these as well. So Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and uh, you can even join the subscription uh, list on my website, notenoughtech.com. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.